Hi, I'm Julie Miner, and I am a writer and a mom and an adjunct professor of public health. April is Alcohol Responsibility Month, and today I want to talk to you about parents and kids and preventing underage drinking. Um, there is a lot of public health data on this, and uh, around parenting, it's pretty consistent in two areas. One is communication, and one is consequences. Not a big surprise. So what does that mean specifically? It means talking early and often with our kids about underage drinking and making sure that kids are clear what the rules are, what our expectations are, and following up on those rules. Uh, parents who do that tend to have kids that are statistically less likely uh, to report drinking, including binge drinking. So you know, that sounds really obvious, right? You're like, hmm, no kidding, lady, is that how it works? And, and you could reasonably argue that parents who have great communication and solid boundaries, that their kids do well, you know, that they have good outcomes across the board, you know, not just around underage drinking, and you would be right. So uh, let's take a lesson from that and ask ourselves a couple questions. When was the last time you talked to your kids about underage drinking? Um, are they clear on what your family's rules are? And are they, do they know that you're not messing around and you are going to follow up with those rules and enforce them? If the answer is yes, if you feel like you and your kids are on the same page, that's great. Um, congratulations. And I want to follow up with one more question for you. Jen, are your kids equally clear about why all of this matters to you? Rules without consequences, kids quickly figure out that if there's no consequence to a rule that it doesn't mean anything. Um, rules without reasons behind them are really only doing half the job. We know that kids are a lot more likely to understand and abide by and buy into rules if they understand the reasoning behind them. Now, coming to a decision about drinking and how you feel about drinking is complicated. There's a lot of information and it's different for everyone, right? You have family history, you have personal experiences. So, and there's new information all the time about the way that alcohol impacts kids and the risks associated with underage drinking. So explain to them the why behind why this is important to you and how you got there. So in doing so, you're teaching them how you process information and how you come to a decision. You're modeling that process for them. You're teaching them to think through potential outcomes and you're giving them a blueprint for working through hard stuff. Um, and you know why that's so important? Because the part of the brain that governs executive function, so anticipating outcomes and consequences, controlling impulses, and, and accurately assessing risk, that's still developing in our kids. So we, we really want to help reinforce some of those, those skills and help build those skills up. And as a mom, you know, I... I want to be the voice in their heads in those moments where they're really challenged to live out um, our values as a family and, and to stick to those rules when there's pressure not to. I want to be that voice in their head that's like, don't do it. Don't, it's a bad idea. Um, but even more than that, I want them to be the voice in their own head. You know, I want them to be able to pause before they jump and to think about the why behind the decision that they're about to make and then make the right choice for themselves. Um, I mean, we can only hope, right? Um, it's, it's tough. It's tough to be a parent and it's tough to be a kid. So um, I want to thank Ask, Listen, Learn and Responsibility.org for this video. And they um, have provided some awesome resources. So thanks for watching. Bye.